Hi guys, welcome to the channel Anchor Boom! Yes, welcome to my base review series. This is where we find some of the best bases out there. We test them out in the Legend League, review them, and then we give them a score out of 10. And today, we're going to be reviewing this rather glorious Town Hall 13 base. Yes, guys. So in just a moment, we're going to check out some awesome Legend League replays so you can see this base in action, see how it performs. If you are impressed and you do want to download and try this base yourself, it's easy. Just head on over to the video description, click on the base layout link, and kaboom! Yes, who's walking across my base? Guys! It's Dave and Bob the Golems. They're just walking across my base. They don't mind where they walk. Imagine if that was your sort of front garden. They'd be walking all over the plants, the flowers, everything. Oh dear. Anyway, sorry. Guys, sometimes I think it's nice just to look around the base, see what's going on in the day-to-day -day life of the villagers. What's going on there? You know, the, the defences. It must get a bit boring for those archers stood on top of that archer tower for... I don't know how long it is, but... Uh, they always seem to be there. I never see them sleeping or anything like that. Anyway, sorry, yes. Guys, if you are new to this channel, by the way, uh, do consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join the Samus army. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers. And who's that hovering above the army camp? Yes, it's Mike the Minion. How are you doing, Mike? It's good to see you. And by the way, guys, just a quick reminder that on this channel, we've got a creator code. So if you do want to help support this channel in game, it's easy. Go to settings, scroll down more settings, scroll down, support a creator. And if you use code Moose before you purchase any gems, it helps support this channel. Anyway, there we go, guys. Here's the Legend League defense log for the base. We're going to scroll through and check out the defenses. Then we're going to watch some awesome replays. So in summary, then... We had 15 attacks over a two-day period in the Legend League. Of those 15 attacks, three were one-star attacks and 12 were two-star attacks. No three-star attacks against the base, which in the Legend League at the moment is really, really good. Let's jump into our first replay. So, first of all, let's have a quick look at the base design. I like it. Town Hall sort of up there. Um, so, you know, it's sort of an anti-three-star base. And down here, you've got the Eagle Artillery with the scatter shots and Expos. So it is quite a difficult base to uh, figure out what's going on. Sorry, guys. Is that some earthquake spells and lightning spells? And the clan castle is gone, guys. Mike the Minion clan there, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, all part of the Mike the Minion's got his own clan, by the way. And if you don't know who Mike the Minion is, you're probably thinking, Samus is going on about this Mike the Minion. Mike the Minion is my friend and probably the best troop in game. Mike the Minion. And if you do want to see Mike the Minion in action, do check out... Oh no, low battery guys, do check out some of my attack strategy videos. They're excellent and they've got Mike the Minion in. They're only excellent because they've got Mike the Minion in. Sorry, back to the action. What is going on here? That poor uh, hidden Tesla didn't have a chance there, did it? So the Queen ability used, she's working her way around the base on the left-hand side there. The King and an Ice Golem. I don't know what the King's trying to do. He's trying to break through that wall... And then we've got some, uh, yeah, Lava Hounds, Balloons, Baby Dragon, some Minions. Interesting attack. And there it is, guys. There's the Stone Slammer sailing into battle. Some Lava Hounds trying to protect it. But it's a long way to get to that town hall, isn't it, guys? It's a long way. And Larry the Lava Hound's just flown out the forest. Is he going to go there by himself? I don't think so. The Royal Champion is trying to make a way over there. There's Lava Pups everywhere. There's a headhunter running in from there on the right-hand side. And they are making their way over to the Town Hall. Grand Warden ability used. The Town Hall has not been activated, so the balloons will not go there yet. They just go, no, it's not classed as a defensive uh, weapon yet. Now it is. Hello, Giga Inferno. Take out those balloons, please. The balloons have not got a chance. And the Town Hall is now saying, ha-ha, I will be victorious. There is a dragon there, but there was a dragon there. It's gone now. And there's a little uh, flock of minions. Is, is that the right terminology? Flock of minions? Yeah, maybe. Uh, a group of minions. A pride of minions. Uh, let me know in the video comments. What should we call a group of minions? A group? A pack? I don't know, guys. I don't. But they're gone anyway. They're gone. And the base defended well there. Well done, base. Well done. So on to the next replay, what have we got here? Hog Miner Hybrid. For those of you that watch my attack strategy videos and my base review videos, you'll know we always try to get in a Hog Miner Hybrid attack. An excellent attack, but it can go wrong if the Queen Walk does not succeed at the beginning. Baby Dragon left, 
baby dragon, right? The queen uh, is there. She's uh, taking out Gary the ice golem, and there's a hog rider riding into battle there, and uh, is gone. And a miner as well, probably just trying to help out with a bit of funneling over there, trying to get the queen to go to the right side. There's a super wall breaker. And the compartment is now open. Will the queen go in there? I think she will after she takes out this gold storage. That's the thing I struggle with, guys, on the queen walk, is working out where she's going next. And look, what's she going to do? Is she going to go? Yes, there we go. But now, queen walking from this sort of uh, side down here is quite difficult. Another super wall breaker, but the queen is under heavy fire by the expos. And the scanner shots are going to start as well in a moment. There's even some mortars, mortar shots as well. I think that just hit the Queen's foot. And no, she's just been hit by the Eagle Artillery. The Queen is doing really well there, actually. Those healers are working hard to keep her alive. But the one thing you don't want, double air sweepers. Those healers being pushed back. But she, that, this is a quite magnificent Queen walk, really. It's taking out the bottom of the base there. But no, the Queen surely must fall now. She can't take out the whole base, can she? No. Ian the Inferno Tower. That is Ian the Inferno Tower. I said, enough is enough. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good. Yeah. Finally, yes. Sorry, I was just waiting for the right moment and I missed it there. And the healers are just flying off. The Queen was finally taken out by Ian the Inferno Tower. So this looks really good. So can those hogs and miners make their way across the base and take out the town hall. Battle blimp sailing into action as well. Grand warden ability used any second. There we go to protect the battle blimp. So this is a really good attack so far. But the base. I think the base is going to fight back here guys. Ian the Inferno Tower is still going. He's got hold of the Royal Champion there. And the Royal Champion is gone. Just yes. Ian the Inferno Tower. Well done. Uh, what a hero at the moment. The Town Hall has been taken out, 67%. The Royal Champion is still there. And as you can see, this base is doing really well. A lot of compartments, which you're looking at it, first of all, you don't probably notice, but there are loads of compartments there, which obviously makes taking out the base uh, more difficult. Ian the Inferno Tower is being viciously attacked in the centre by some miners, and they have finally taken Ian out. But uh, a giant bomb there uh, detonated on the miners, and they have survived, though. Well, no, they haven't. They've gone. I don't know. I think they've gone underground and not come back up. They said, enough's enough. We're going to just burrow off somewhere else. So there we go, guys. Uh, there's a nice attack against the base. So we're going to review the base now, and we're going to give it a score out of 10. So base design. I love this base design. I like the little sort of mini compartments with the air defences in. Uh, you know, the arch tower at the top. It's not just for show, they really do sort of mess up funneling as well. So base design, I love the base design. Its performance in the Ledger League was really good. No three-star attacks. So out of 10 today, guys, we're going to give the base 8 out of 10. A really nice base. Let me know if you download it. Let me know in the video comments. As usual, guys, if you do download any bases, I would suggest moving some of the traps around. Make the base unique to yourself. This is Samoose signing out. Remember, you can use creator code Moose in-game to help support the channel. I've put a link that does all that in the video description and guys sometimes i put a secret code word in my videos and ask you to go to the video comments and put the secret code word there and i'll reply to each and every one of you that does today's secret code word is steve the squirrel steve the squirrel lives in the forest out there guys by the village he's friends with mike the minion that's today's secret code word anyway enough from me hope you've enjoyed the video today thanks for watching and i'll see you soon take care